So Scott, there's a uh, there's a tiger in the trailer. There's a tie liger. What is a tie liger? A tie liger is a lion bred to a tiger, then the offspring is bred back to a tiger. So two part tiger. What do you do with a tie liger? Well, we're gonna take her for a we're walk. We're gonna give her an exam, wash her down, check her for anything, and then we'll replace her at another zoo. This is a real actual, I mean, fully clawed, toothed. Yep, she's got all her claws. She's 100%. Look at those paws. That no, looks good to me. Dude, this is all on you, dude. Are you no, ready? I'm, no, I'm about... <laughs> yeah. So I learned they're hybrid predators. But I'm not sure why I'm climbing into a cage with one. Are you ready? Seriously, I, I don't know, man. Is it, I mean, what's the, uh, what's the danger factor? Well, it's a tiger, it's a meat eater, it's a carnivore, but other than that, I think we're fine. You ready? Yeah, sure. Okay. Kobe! Here, Kobe! Here, Kobe. What is no. it? What is it? No. What is it? No. What is it? No, no. Mike, where are you? I'm right here, man. You're doing great. You're you got doing my so back. good, Scott. You have such a future in this Thai Liger business. <laughs> Boggles the mind. We're going out this way. Are we? Yep. No, Syria. Yeah? All right. All right. Don't I let go of your Thai Liger. Liger. Somehow, I ended up with a steel chain and a Thai Liger less than a foot away from me. Not comfortable. What's the tie liger's name? Kobe. <laughs> Why breed a lion and a tiger together? Or did it just happen in the wild? Originally, no, it didn't, doesn't happen in the wild. They're from two different continents, Africa and, and uh, India, so. But uh, people do it because it gives a bigger, tamer animal. A tie liger can get up to about 1,000 pounds, and they have a better attitude. They're easier to work with. But how old is this animal? She is about five months old. And why is she not attacking us? Well, because she's been raised, she was bottle raised, so she's imprinted on people. She's not, not afraid of us, but not gonna attack us either. Can she smell the fear on me? Probably. <laughs> All right, slow her up, show her who's the boss. Yes, yes, you're the boss, Ty Liger. <laughs> you just happened to have a chain on you, but you're still the boss. <laughs> you never walked a Ty Liger before, did you? First time, first time today. Here at Charcarosa, they don't breed hybrid animals like Kobe, but they do take care of them in transit. <laughs> So we head to the cleaning area for a better look. Tie Liger. Crap. Here, Scott brings Kobe a little too close for comfort. Seriously? <laughs> really? Right here, rub her in the face. She's real sweet. There you go. She's just, at this like stage, you. she's just like a big puppy. A really big house cat. <laughs> oh, she's not like a big puppy. <laughs> It's not like a big puppy. Oh, she just wants to play. Does she want to play? Is she that it? She just wants to play. Play with her teeth? <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> Charlie ever bites. <sighs> She's got some poo on her. We're going to clean her up. Just make sure she doesn't have any cuts. Sure, sure. Kobe. So shall I direct the water onto the onto the line? Still get it in her ears. By all means. What's that? Don't get it in her ears. Not in her ears. No, she gets really cranky. You want to start with the butt then? I'm sure. You're a butt guy, start there. Kind of rub it in as you wet her so it gets it wet all the way down to the... Do I? Where's the shampoo? Suds it up. How often does a Thai Liger get a... Uh... Get a bath? Well, every time we have an animal come in from another facility, we always like to give it a bath, make sure it doesn't have any mites or ticks or right. cuts or anything. This way we get a chance to check it out. Right. I think she likes you. Do you? Yeah. That's great. I hope you're right. You like that? You like that on your big paws? All right, we're going to do the undercarriage. Do you want to hold her, or do you want to scrub her? Take a wild guess. You want to scrub her. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> that was the wrong guess, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got poop down here. See that claw on her? Yeah, I sure do. Now, tigers have retractable claws. They come in and out. Uh -huh. Some animals have semi-retractable. And that, that's, uh, hey, look, it's all good, man. It's just a claw. Easy. Seriously, dude? He's OK. They don't like to be on their back because that's their vulnerable side. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the tiger. I'm sorry, man, but I got my whole vulnerable side going on. <laughs> oh, 
hold her up for you. Yep. Okay, ready? Clean her up, clean her up. There we go. I know, I know, it's weird. It's weird for everyone. <laughs> weird for everyone, Kobe. The job is simple, clean a taliger. And so I will clean a taliger. Oh, somebody likes that. <laughs> now we're living. <laughs> I just feel as though we've just crossed into a weird place. She looks good. She looks good. Why don't you sit here and hold her for a minute? All right. I'll be back. Where the heck is Scott going? Out. Don't leave me with the wild animal. Kobe may be a hybrid, but her claws are sharp. Hi, Kobe. And she apparently has one more surprise for us. Watch out, she's squirting on you, Troy. <laughs> Aw, tough break, Troy. A little too much stimulation back there. <laughs> Took it pretty hard on the uh, right leg. All right, she was a good girl, so give her a treat. You give it to her. Look, look what Uncle, Uncle Mike got you. Yeah, yeah, enjoy. Hey, you hear that crunching sound? I do. That's the bones. She not only eats the chicken, but she eats the bones. She gets calcium and important nutrients out of the bones of the animals that she kills. Those jaws are powerful enough to crush you know, a, a bone the size of our arm or even our leg when they're full grown easily. Any questions, Mike? This actually sums it up pretty good. <laughs> some days you're the taliger, some days you're the chicken. <laughs> you know? Luck of the draw, right?